Using a video clip as a background layer can really make your images stand out and raise the overall production value of your shows. Let's take a look at how to use videos as backgrounds, beginning by creating the slide you see here. The number one rule for using a video as a background is to not use the background option for your slide. These options are for still images only. Instead, to use a video clip as a background layer, simply make sure that your video layer is always at the bottom of the layers list. In this case, I need to move my layers so that the picture of these graduates is in the layer 1 position, and the video is in the layer 2 position. To make sure I can see my video playing in the background, all I have to do is select the image layer, then, in the layer settings, Go to the Layer Setup options and adjust the zoom until I'm happy with how it looks in the preview. To add a little more polish to the slide, in both Pro Show Gold and Producer, you can go to the Adjustments tab and apply an outline and a shadow to your image. This will add a little more separation between the image layer and the background. Let's press OK to save our changes, then take a look at the slide in the main preview. Now as the slide plays, you can see the video adds this subtle wave-like effect behind the image. It's a very simple effect to make, but one that can instantly increase the production value of your shows without taking anything away from your photos or distracting your audience. Let's go back to our sample show and check out another great use for video background layers, making title slides. This is another example that's incredibly easy to make and looks great. Let's start by adding a video clip to the slide list. Once the video is done importing, you'll notice in the slide list that the length of the slide is just over 12 seconds, with a 3 second transition out. This tells me that the total length of my video clip is just around 15 seconds long. That's a little more than I need for my title slide, so I'm going to change the slide time to 8 seconds, and set the transition to one second. This effectively trims some time off the end of the video and makes it nine seconds long without having to use the video trimming tools in ProShow. Now let's double click to open the slide options. For this example, the video layer is the only layer on my slide. Since captions always appear above layers by default, that basically means that this video layer has become the background layer for my title slide without having to do anything. To make sure the actual slide background remains hidden, click the Layer Settings tab and adjust the scaling or zoom of your video as needed to fill the entire preview area. Now, let's click on the plus icon in the Captions pane to create a new caption. In the selected caption text area, I'll add my text for my title slide and then customize the text using the caption options. Let's preview the slide to see how it looks. It looks pretty good, but when working with video, especially abstract video backgrounds like this one, you'll often need to make a few adjustments to the video layer in order to make objects in the foreground stand out more. So let's click on the video in the layers list, and then go to the adjustments tab. ProShow Gold has fewer options than Producer, so let's switch over for a second and see how we can do this in Gold. In this example, what I really need to do is to create more of a contrast between the darker video layer and the lighter color in the caption. Reducing the brightness, or reducing the black point, are always great options. I could also colorize the video, or mix and match these options until I find something that I like the best. Let's see how these changes affect the slide. Now that the text stands out more from the background, it's definitely a stronger title slide. Back in Producer, let's take a look at some additional adjustment options. In this case, I know that my actual slide background is the default solid black color. So instead of adjusting the brightness or black point, 
I'm just going to adjust the opacity of my layer so that more of that default background color comes through. As you can see, that makes a tremendous difference. And now for the final touch. Let's add some blur and see how that looks. As you can see, by adding blur, we can really separate the text and foreground from the background. This is a great way to ensure that your audience doesn't get distracted by the video background and their attention stays focused on your caption. Be sure to check out our other training videos on our YouTube channel or visit our blog for helpful tips and tricks about creating slideshows with ProShow.